we've seen these programs grow and um, become unsustainable in many other states. Uh, we, it, they're up to 1.2 billion in Georgia. Um, we have done things to get, keep a surplus in our state. This program has been consistently shot down as it's been brought to us. Um, they continue to try to pare it down to make it something we can all swallow. And, uh, but the problem is we all know what happens when something uh, gets, gets its foot in the door down here. Then the next year we just raise the caps, we expand it, we grow it, all in the name of making things better. But if you really have a good program, there's no need for a refundable credit. You're already admitting um, that you're going to have uh, losses or you're not going to be making income or, um, I mean, a refundable credit is just one of the worst tax policies we can ever offer or ever have down there. So. Um, you know, what you're really doing is you're taking government funds and you're cutting a check to Hollywood. Uh, people who certainly are out of touch with the average citizen. So I hope that I, I rise in opposition, respectful opposition to 1708. And I hope like all the many years as they've come down here to try to get their sweetheart deal from the legislature and uh, milk the taxpayer I'm hoping that uh, we kill it like we always do. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Senator Gowan, how much money um, are we offering to give Hollywood in this? Senator uh, Gowan. Mr. Mr. Chair, uh, Senator Peterson, that would have been in my remarks, uh, but we're not looking at 1.2 billion. We're actually looking at 150. So 150 billion? Senator Peterson. Uh, Senator Gowan. Mr. Chair, come on. <laughs> 150 million. Okay, so thank you, credits. Mr. Chair. So 150 million, and we're hearing these arguments that will create jobs. Well, Mr. Chair, um, I would like to, this is, I'll, I'll make a statement, uh, and I'm asking myself this question. You can all ask yourself this question. This is this argument, this fallacy that we get down here all the time, where people hire a boatload of lobbyists, wealthy industries, wealthy people, hire a boatload of lobbyists, come down with some clever scheme, and they say, you know, give us $150 million, and we'll create all these jobs of the taxpayer dollars. Well, guess what, folks? Give me $150 million, I'll create more jobs, okay? Give Senator Pace $150 million, he'll do better than these guys, or Senator Gray, or... You know, Eugene Tirita, she's, she's a pretty um, savvy person. So this is just a totally bogus thing. Let's leave the money in the pocket of our taxpayers because taxpayers know how to use their money best and be industrious best. Most jobs are created by small business owners. And that is really what's happening here. This is a shift from small business owners People working their butts off to super wealthy people. That's what this really is. You give me 150 million bucks, I'll make a crap load of money. More than these guys, okay? So, um, and it's not going to be 150 million bucks, folks. Tax refunds, they're awful. This is awful tax policy. You are already admitting that th you're going to lose money. Why, why make it refundable? You don't need it to be refundable if you're going to make money. So, anyways, again, this is just the same old, same old stuff we see down here all the time. People coming down, trying to get money from the taxpayers. I hope we kill it like we always do. Thank you, Mr. Chair.